Welcome to Quick Tape Movie Review. Here's a quick review of The Killer, starring Natalie Emanuel, Sam Worthington, Omar Sy, and directed by John Woo. Watch this review until the end to find out if this movie would appeal to you. The Killer follows a feared contract killer who, defying orders from her handler, refuses to murder a young blind woman. This act of rebellion puts her in the crosshairs of her former colleagues and a relentless detective, setting off a dangerous cat and mouse chase. The Killer is a remake of the 1989 Hong Kong action classic of the same name, a film that set the standard for stylish action cinema under the direction of John Woo. This latest iteration retains the core plot of its predecessor but makes several changes in an attempt to appeal to a modern audience. Unfortunately, the results are a mixed bag. The most significant change is the gender swap of the protagonist, now played by Natalie Emanuel. While Emanuel delivers a strong performance, bringing a certain intensity and vulnerability to the role, it's difficult not to compare her to the original's lead, Chow Yun-Fat, whose portrayal of the killer is iconic. Emmanuel does her best to fill those formidable shoes, but the change feels more like a trope often seen in Hollywood rather than a meaningful update to the story. The action sequences, which were the hallmark of the original film, are well staged and provide some of the movie's most engaging moments. The choreography is slick, and the gunfights are suitably intense, paying homage to the original while also trying to carve out its own identity. However, these sequences, while entertaining, lack the innovative flair that made the 1989 version stand out in the crowded action genre. The supporting cast does a commendable job, with solid performances that help carry the narrative. The tension between the killer and her former colleagues, as well as the persistent detective, adds layers to the story, though these elements are not as finely tuned as they could be. Where the killer stumbles is in its overall execution. While it's not a bad movie, it falls short of being a masterpiece. The film struggles to justify its existence in the shadow of the original, and while it doesn't disgrace its predecessor, it also doesn't elevate the material in any significant way. It's a movie that sits in the middle of the road, neither a standout success nor a complete failure. In conclusion, The Killer offers a decent viewing experience, especially for fans of the original or those who enjoy John Woo's style of action cinema. However, it's best to keep expectations in check. While it has its moments and Natalie Emanuel delivers a solid performance, the film ultimately feels like a remake that didn't quite hit the mark. It's an entertaining watch, but it may leave you longing for the brilliance of the original. The killer will likely appeal to you if you enjoy the movies listed, as they share similar sensibilities. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more quick tape reviews and recommendations. Peace to all.